Hello guys, I am Lucian L and welcome back to Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony This time we're about to see into the light of memory or something The flashlight that will let, let us see the past before we enter the academy So I'm really excited for that and yeah, let's just see what's next in this game This third chapter we are probably almost halfway through, so that's exciting. And yeah, let's just jump right into it. See you there. All right, yeah, we start. We stopped right here at the entrance of the dining hall because they, this is where we're gonna see uh, the flashlight, like all of us together. So hopefully everyone is already here. Yep. Why is it so clean now? Wasn't there a lot of plants and stuff? Huh. Oh, the flashback light. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, we found okay. it. It's true. Stun startled, shocked. Kokichi? Oh, yeah, yeah, Kokichi. I told you I wasn't lying. Good thing, too, because I don't want pan my pants on fire. Oh, yeah, yeah, the, the saying. Anyway, I want to start talking about what we're going to do, but Kaito isn't here yet. Maki is not here either. Maki's not coming, I didn't invite her. Huh? You didn't invite her? Hey! Forget about that killer. Hey, Miu, Keyboy, did you guys see the computer room in the fourth floor? Huh? Computer room, you say? Go on! Hey! Yeah, there's a big computer on the fourth floor. Will you take a look later? You or Kibo might know something about it, right? My apologies. I'm sorry, I'm not very computer savvy. What? Is that so? That's unexpected. <laughs> I have been meaning to, to ask, but Kibo, what is your talent exactly? Well, I can do all sorts of things. Indeed. Oh yes, I'm pretty good at one-man comedy shows, if I do say so myself. Don't worry. Huh? Kibo's existence is the only ultimate thing about him. Other than that, he's got no talent. I guess, because he's the ultimate robot? So that's the talent do in itself? Do mock me! I just told you, I'm a good at one-man comedy shows. Hmm. I don't really get it, but we just need to check out this computer room, right? <laughs> and I'm, But I'm not gonna come just for some computer. It's gonna take way more than that. Uh, um. Well, the Monocups did say it was amazing. Go. Thanks for waiting. Okay, Kaito, why, why are you here? Oh, are you bringing... Yes, you brought Maki, nice. Oh. Yep. Hello. <laughs> Freaking huh? cat face. Why is Maki with you? Well, this is about that flashback light. Everyone, so everyone should be here, right? Yeah, I agree, actually. <laughs> but when you say everyone, do you truly need to include a professional killer? <sighs> I'm leaving. <laughs> Come on, man. Hold on a sec. Kaito gripped Maki's arm before she could leave. By the way. Didn't you say you wanted to take down her mask or whatever? Got it. Yeah, I'm gonna take down her mask as a murderer. Huh? What? Hey, so I just can't believe a girl like her is capable of killing people in cold blood. Huh. Um. Is it true? Are you really the ultimate assassin, Mikey? Have you killed anyone before? No, no. Oh, okay. I was going to say no. She's not gonna answer that. But yeah, there you go. Really? But why you hide that? Isn't it obvious? So she could kill us all before we figure out her identity. That's wrong. It's because I knew you guys will react this way. Huh? Why are you doing like how is that called? Like doing the cross-eyed, yes, cross-eyed. <laughs> why are you going cross-eyed? When people learn my ultimate talent, they get the same fear in their eyes that you all have. Eventually, that fear will turn into hate. And then someone will try to kill me because they're afraid I'll kill them first. That's... What's the point? Whenever, whenever someone learns my real identity, they try to kill me. It happens every time. Always. Huh? Always. Mm. You live a pretty sad life, Mackie. That's so mean. Poor, poor Mackie. I feel so sorry for you. I think I'm about to cry. Oh, I see. Because of everything you've been through. Human life has no value to you, is that it? She's an assassin, not some murderous fiend. Hey, she's an assassin, not a sociopath. 
Okay, maybe she is a sociopath. I don't know. <laughs> they do say one out of 25 people is a sociopath. All right, that'll stop. Even if she did kill someone, that doesn't mean she thinks it's okay to. Can you let go of me from for now? Got to finally let go of her arm and make it out of sight. Okay. I knew you wouldn't believe me. That's why I kept it a secret and tried to avoid you guys as much as I could. But someone who doesn't know how to mind his business kept dragging me places. Huh? Are you talking about well... me? However, I will say this. I have no intention of killing any of you. Only one of you tries to kill me first. <sighs> first. <laughs> Having said that, you probably won't believe me anyway. Then... So, you guys mind your own business. I'll mind mine. And we all agree, we all agree to avoid each other. Please, just pretend I'm not even here. But she just took off? What? Really? Stare hour was a threat, but the last bit seemed a little sad. You're so dumb. Kaito, what were you thinking? Are you trying to turn us against each other? I think I speak for everyone when I say we are all disappointed in you. Right, guys? No. I, I wouldn't say that, but... Tell me your thoughts. Shall we finally get started? We've all gathered. We we've all gathered here for the flashback. Like yes, I don't know why I corrected myself when I was saying the right Everyone. thing. Uh, yes. So have we all decided what we're going to do? Sneak attack. You said of course. We might be able to remember something new. Like the true purpose of the ultimate hunt. No. Well, we don't know for sure if it's got anything to do with while we're trapped here. What was that? Don't give me that washy, wishy washy bullcrap. Of course, it's got something to do with why. Hey! Instead of arguing, it'd be way easier to just use it, you know? You're right. Uh, going to worry, but we gotta do it, sorry. I don't know why I have the hiccups. Oh, but... No matter what we remember, you can't think about wanting to leave this place. Come on, come on! If you think like that, uh -oh. we'll just be repeating ourselves. You gotta be kidding me! I know that, but and we can't go around repeating ourselves. You must do it. Then let's give it a try. Shuishi, go for it. Uh, go for it. I'm a little nervous. I'm sort of just plain nauseous. Just plain, huh? Everyone turned their eyes to me, and they flicked on the, la the flashback light. And at that moment, once again, we're gonna go into the sequence. The world warped. Yep, there you go. Man, it's such a cool sequence. And boys, the limb thick. <laughs> What's the game rooms thing? Slim thick. Yeah, boys, slim thick. Something about a skinny legend or something. Skinny legend got me quaking. Yeah. My consciousness went white. And somewhere in that whiteness, a scene played. Oh, a scene. Whoa! You're so young and talented. How could this happen? Well, that was quick. It looked like an accident. They were running away from that group. Was it really just an accident, though? I honestly can't believe that. Huh. Wait, was that it? Oh, come on. What was that? A funeral? It was mine. It was everyone's here. Huh? Why was I at my own funeral? What? A funeral? You too, Shuishi? I see. It will appear we all remember the same thing. The f going on? What the <laughs> Anyway. Why was I watching your guys' funeral? And why was I there too? We didn't see a body. We just saw the memorial thing. W why? What the hell is going on? What was the funeral? Hmm. But the only thing I can remember is seeing that funeral. Nothing else. No way! Maybe we already dead? <laughs> no way. <laughs> this is so stupid. I couldn't help but laugh. I mean, there's no way that was our memory of our funeral. Then, then what was it? I mean... It's probably a memory for a school festival or something. What? School festival? That's right. That's probably a memory from a play we did from the, for the school's festival or something. I mean, it's, isn't it obvious if you just think about it? If that funeral was real, there's no way we'd still be alive. But it feels more like a funeral that you do 
when someone goes missing and you like you've been looking for him so you just uh decide that they are dead because you haven't been able to find them in a long time though they did say it looked like an accident or something like that like they actually were able to witness it but still we didn't see a body or anybody so i don't know it it's weird Especially the the fact that they were seeing it from what I understand, of course, sometimes these things are kind of subjective and weird uh, But from it seemed like they were looking at it from their own perspective right from their Like they were looking at the pictures from their own eyes and there were like voices But that doesn't really make sense. So I don't I don't know I'm just theorizing. I mean, I, I don't mean to solve everything. I don't think we'll be able to solve that just yet. Um. But aren't we all from different high schools? Why will we why will we have a school festival together? Well, that's... that's... We'll probably remember something about it later. Got it. Anyway, there's no way that funeral was real. There's no mistake in that. Logical. You're right. If we think about it logically, th that's clearly out of the question. Question. Thank goodness. Oh, good. Gonta think everyone was already dead. Don't worry about it. Stop saying stupid stuff. Look at me. I'm alive. Hail and hearty. <laughs> hearty? Because you're gonna... I'll give you that one, Mia. Oh, yeah! <laughs> I'm not cute with other people's dirty jokes. I'm disappointed. What a disappointment. The flashback leg was a real letdown. We didn't find out anything about the ultimate hunt, just some weird memory. Talk about disappointment. Uh -uh. I'm not talking about the memory, I'm talking about you guys. Uh -huh. It's a lie. I'm just lying again, so don't worry about it. What? I wish you wouldn't have said anything in the first place, <laughs> yeah. Agreed. The memory of the funeral we saw, it can't be a memory of a real funeral. We have to learn more about this. No matter how hard I think about it, I can't unwrap my head around it. After that experience, we ate a meal in the dining hall and returned to our rooms. Okay. So, yeah, we're back in our room. Are we gonna have free time? It feels like it, right? There's some kind of secret about that funeral. I can't stop thinking about it. Yeah. Because we saw that as part of that at the beginning of the... So that was why well, it was kinda disappointing. Because we didn't see a lot of it. We just saw like we just saw kinda the same thing as the first chapter. It's hard to deduce anything from such a short scene. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was saying. I'm not theorizing anything yet. I'm just speculating. I mean <laughs> I literally said that it was there. Uh, yeah, I'm just speculating and which is kinda the same as theorizing, I guess. I could ask him to come up for a hint. That will help, but... Hmm. Shouldn't waste my time trying to solve an unsolvable mis problem. Mystery, I was going to say. I still have some time left today. Maybe I'll head out, clear my head. Free time, alright. So, where should we go now? Hmm. Who have we talked to? Oh, let, let me just check my, uh... Yeah, the monopath to see who we've talked to. Like, what kind of friends... Uh, we have Yeah Yeah, let's see how, at what level are we Okay, Kaito, we are on level one uh, Okay, this guy's <laughs> Okay, we're on level one on Himiko. Yeah, we talked once to Himiko, right? We talked once with Tenko? Yeah, I guess, right? This likes men. Whoa, okay. Oh January 9th. Oh, it's pretty close to my birthday, actually. I don't know, I kinda wanna talk with Tenko, but I feel like they wouldn't let us. Like, maybe they would just... Uh, uh, she would just hate us anyway. Maybe we'll talk with Himiko. How will we talk with Sumugi? I kinda wanna talk with Sumugi. But let's get some uh, items first. I'm gonna go to the Mono Mono machine. Alright, let's... Uh... Oh, three hit KO sandbag. Okay, so let's see what we get here, and depending on the items that we get, we'll see who we can talk to. I mean, we're gonna have probably a lot more. Uh... Oh, cool! 
We're probably gonna have a lot more stuff. Boba tea, okay. Pure white practice sword, okay. We're gonna get more free time, I do know that. Or I I'm pretty sure. Dark belt, okay. Oh, Dark Belt. That's interesting. Because I do want to talk a little bit more with Tenko. I mean, she's a, she, I do like her. Ginger T. Just as a character and how much she cares about Himiko. Well, great. A repeat. <laughs> oh, okay. I just didn't... Okay, so I think we can leave for now. Let's see what we got. Uh, and let's read so we see what people we can talk to uh, with the new stuff. Yeah. A bubble drink with a bunch of tapioca balls at the bottom. The chewy tapioca balls are made from the root of the cassava plant. Oh, I didn't know that. Hot water with grated ginger in it. It warms the body and prevents colds. It tastes delicious with honey mixed in it. Yeah, uh, ginger drinks are delicious. Apple cut into bunny shapes. Often uses bait for certain animals and insects. Oh, so that probably, yeah, probably would be for, good dog, for Gonta. Sukiyaki caramel. Sukiyaki flavor caramel that combine the flavor of meat, soy sauce, eggs, and caramel. The flavors are all really strong and don't mix well. Yeah, I imagine so. Uh, what else is new? This thing? An animal picture book for, for preschool kids. For some reason, birds, birds are no feature in it. <laughs> are not featured in it. Cufflinks. An accessory that is attached to the cuffs of a shirt. The black onyx design makes it look good on both men and women. A glamorous black weed that has hair like that of a Japanese doll. Even if you cut it, it grows back instantaneously. Okay, that's kind of scary. I feel like the ultimate entomolo um, anthropologist would like that. I've actually been learning a lot of anthropology. It's kind of weird, but it's interesting. A metal set Monokuma made for of himself and the monocups. You can feel the care he put into making it. Looking a bit away, but something good might happen if you keep it. Okay, I'm definitely keeping it that, definitely. Um, an origami pack that has 24 sheets of gold origami paper. With this, you can create gor gorgeous origami. Cool. Uh, bird food, a carefully selected collection of fresh seeds for domestic pigeons. While pigeons can't appreciate the increased quality, so it will be a waste to keep them to keep them this. Three kit KO sandbag, regardless of whether it's hit by a kick from a sickly shell or a punch from a superhuman adult, this punching bag will always break on the third hit. Really? Huh, so that, I don't think that will be a lot of fun. Or maybe, I don't know, nah, for Tenko is thinking. A robot mascot that looks like a killer whale, it can sense when its owner is distressed and offers to search, to research a solution. Okay? That's interesting. Oh, the yeah, the rock paper scissors. A set of cards containing four rock, four papers, and four scissors. If you bet your life on this game, it can be a thrilling psycholog psychological battle. Okay, is that from Kakegurui? Maybe it's from the other betting game? I forgot how it's called. A uh, gambling game? I forgot what it's called, but it, it reminded me of Kakegurui. I never finished that anime. Uh, blackish bell worn with karate clothes. It can only be worn by those with justice in their hearts. You can give it away, but something good might happen if you keep it. Okay, I'm definitely keep it. Uh, okay, this is also an ornamental katana that contains divine power capable of taking out ordinary people with a single, single slash. You can give it away, but something good might happen if you keep it. Might, might happen. If you keep it. Uh, and yeah, uh, servant's clothes. Yeah, a month of Kirumi. She always wore them as she worked for everyone's sake. Okay, so I kind of want to give this to Tenko. I mean, we have two free times. At, le at the very least, I think we're going to have two free times before the day ends. So I think we're going to give this one to Himiko, to Himiko, to Tenko. And then maybe one of these could be to, for the anthropologist, like origami or some stuff like this. I don't know. I'll think about it once I... Uh, once we get past Tenko's part. And also I want to see if we are actually like not able to be friends with her or anything. Because uh, she seems like a pretty cool, cool person. And like I said, I really like how how good she treats Himiko and everything. Speaking of Kakeguri, uh, someone commented on on uh, one of my last videos that I made of Danganronpa. And they had uh, a Kakeguri... Uh, Yumeno is, is her name? 
Uh, the protagonist. Oh, there you go. Tenko. Tenko's at her gym, of course. That will make sense. It's fast travel there. Okay, let's go to the dojo. The Raikon was uh, Yumeno. Yumeno is her name? The, the protagonist from Kekiguri. Alright. Can we talk with her? Whoa! Okay, hi. Hi, Tenko, I guess. Are you all right? Do you think it will be okay if we don't do anything about Maki? She told us to stay away from her, but... I still think it's dangerous to leave a killer like her unattended. Should I hang out with Ten Tenko for a while? Yeah. Sure. But... Uh, we don't need to antagonize her, but let's keep a close eye on her, just in case. I don't feel like she hates men. I spent some time stalking Maki with Tenko. Okay. Are we back? Okay. Tenko and I were closer today. Uh, huh. Will she maybe be offended? Uh, I just thought about it. Will she, will she be offended if we give her a present? Like maybe she's gonna take it the wrong way. Uh, it's supposed to be a friendly gift, isn't it? I don't know about that, yeah. Uh, still, I do want to... I mean, because if, if I do give this to her, who am I gonna give it to? Because it doesn't say... It doesn't tell me to keep it. So yeah, I'm just gonna try it. Uh, okay, I made you happy. That's good. No, I think that happened last time, right? That I made her happy. Damn it! And then, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. About before, I'm sorry for throwing you. Okay, she actually threw me. But it's because you're a degenerate male. Blame yourself for being born that way. Well, that's kind of. Uh, it doesn't sound like much of an apology. Uh, um... Yeah, it's kind of like those apologies of I'm sorry you got offended, you know. I woke up in bed. Did you carry me back to my room, Tenko? <laughs> I didn't want to, but I couldn't just leave you there. It was bothering me. <laughs> well, thank you. Hmm. You might not have anything else going for you, but at least you have guts. Why? Guts? <laughs> A Persona 5. Guts. You still have to talk to me, even though I threw you around like a ragdoll. You might have an ulterior motive like most males, but you have a lot of courage. An ulterior motive? Unless well, you're one of those degenerates who enjoys being stepped on. What the you're heck? The worst of the worst. You're a tough one to crack. Wait! That's wrong. I don't have a fetish or anything. Hey. You always take the conversation too far. Maybe try to calm me down a little. Huh. What do you know? How much you calmer than before? Huh? You're calmer than before. That's right. Yeah, my parents told me I used to have anger, t anger, anger tantrums similar to an exploding volcano. How bad was she? But... I guess my parents were pretty worried about that. They thought I wouldn't be able to fit into society that way. So, I so they sent me to the temple to help discipline my mind. Piece of cake. And as a result of my training, I became the calm and composed girl I am today. Where? I see, well that's good, you have great parents. Ooh, should I talk about her parents? Yeah, I feel cause, uh, I, cause I feel like saying I see is like, sure, sure, yeah. And where is just, yeah, it's just dumb. So let's say you have great parents. Hmm. You have great parents. Yes. Yeah, you don't hear this often from a child, but I'm very grateful to my parents. <gasps> Are you praising my parents to get my guard down? No. No, that's not it. Yeah, but I'm sure my parents, my parents never expected my accomplishments with the head priests. We created Neo Aikido together. What? How does Neo Aikido fit? Does Aikido fit into that at all? <laughs> During my mental training at the temple, I call the her the head priest master. Cause proper titles are are necessary. Master was very pleased about this and added a new rule to the temple. He declared that he was the master of martial arts. Because he's just as important. Okay, so your master is a he. I thought it was a girl, maybe? Because uh, that would make sense, which how she no. grew up to be. Anyway. Listen up. We decided to create a martial arts master specialized in, and uh, we decided to create a martial arts master specialized in. And after reflecting on it, Neo Aikido was born. Huh? That's an odd oh, origin story. Huh? How dare you say that? Well, fine. New concepts are difficult for people to accept anyway. But one day, I'll make Neo Aikido the national sport. That's my dream. Cool. Okay, I'm liking this. I'm liking this development. That we're 
Uh, she's being a bit more open. I'm liking this. I'm liking this. Still thinking about the origin of Neo Akito, I return to my room. Okay. <laughs> okay, it's night, so... Yeah, okay. We didn't get a chance to talk to someone else. That's okay. I mean, at least we didn't lose the whole day. <laughs> what is happening? This is an official announcement from the Ultimate Academy. It is now 10 p.m. It's Betty Bye time for us. You bastards. You the two should sleep together. In one big bed. What is, what is happening? Why are their bones broken? Ah. The three of us could sleep in one bed, right? As close as we are, not only could we sleep in one big bed, we could sleep in triple bunk beds. Yes. But whoever is in the top bunk might fall out of bed and die. I don't know if we're that close. Bedtime, Bed okay. <laughs> this is weird. This, this, these interactions are weird. Have training with Kaito. Haven't done it for a while because of the murder. But we're going to do it tonight, right? In that case, I need to go to the courtyard. All right, let's do it. Oh, there. Why is Sanji there? Whoa. Hi. Oh me, oh my. Huh? Shuishi, where are you going? Well, uh, nowhere in particular. What about you, Angie? I... I was just talking to the others. Huh? Talking? Maybe. Since they can't hear Atua's voice, I was explaining his wisdom to them. Uh, um... I Atua. see. Atua was touched by, everyone, by everyone's feelings, so he said we must all preserve the peace here. I'm so relieved. I'll work with everyone to make this academy a paradise. She'll work with everyone. I wonder what she means by, by that. Yonara. Yeah, the reason why I wanted to talk with her is because these talks... Yeah, I have a bad feeling about this. I feel like this has something to do. And because Magic wa Show was Angie's idea as well. Yeah, and we had like a bit of a preview uh, the night before, remember? What is she planning this time? Okay. So let's see. Uh, looks like I just in here yet. And suddenly... Hey! Yo! Sorry I was late. I had trouble bringing her. Huh? Her? Oh, is Maki with us? Yay! I should tell with Maki too. Huh? Yeah. Why is Maki here? I I'd know. That's what I'd like to know. Someone kept busting my intercom and I got so fed up, I finally opened the door. And this guy grabbed my arm and dragged me all the way Idiot. here. Well, don't worry about the small stuff. She's probably r really strong, right? Like, couldn't she just, uh, I don't know, like, break his arm <laughs> so he would let go? Don't worry about the small stuff. If we're gonna train, it's more fun with three people than two, right? What? Training? The three of us? Is that really the reason you dragged me here? This is stupid. I'm going back. Huh. You calling this stupid? Listen up. When a hero has to fight with a big enemy, they train, train, then train some more. That's what, it's, that's what this training is. It's important to, for a hero like me. Right. So you guys can be like super dog, cat, or horse of my side to help me that... So you guys can be like super dog, cat, or horse by my side to help me be the hero. The sentences are weird anyway. Uh, um... Of all examples, of all the examples you could have picked, yeah. I'm right already. Do you think that crazy expl explanation will convince me to stay? This is stupid. I'm going back, <laughs> just repeating the same thing. What is there that I was a hero? That's just from my perspective. You know. Even super pets think of themselves as heroes. Let's do it. The same goes for both of you. If of you are the heroes of your own stories, uh, so act more like it. <laughs> hey, hey. Your pouty face. I don't know what you're up to, but I told you both to stay away from me. You know this will end badly if you don't, so why are you being so difficult? Hey, so... How long are you going to run away? Huh? What? Kacho brought his face close to Maki's. Hmm. Your mask is coming down. I could tell just by looking at you today. I mean... You're not the terrifying person the others think you are. You're just a coward. Okay. Hey, so, what's your enemy? What? My enemy? Jeez. You don't need to tell me what it is, as long as you know it yourself. Listen up. 
So how long are you going to run away from your enemy? Huh? Run away? Seriously? Yeah, huh. you have been running away. It's pretty pathetic. That's right. But if you want to stand against it, even a little, huh. I'll train with you, so you can be strong. What? Y yeah, exactly. <laughs> Mac is getting angry. Kaito is just provoking her. Is he going to be okay? He's antagonizing the ultimate assassin. Hey! So what are you going to do? Kaito! Uh, Kaito, it's okay. You don't have to... Okay, okay. Fine, I'll do it. Huh? You'll do it? Then... Don't get the wrong idea. He'll just bug me about it later if I refuse. Huh. So you do get it. <sighs> the only way to deal with idiots like him is to keep up and just keep nodding. What? You don't get it at all. Huh. Whatever. Just get... Just better get ready. I won't hold back just because you're a girl. Hey. Well, what are we doing first? Right. First, 100 push-ups. Okay. Somehow, Maki ended up joining us and the three of us trained together. Aw, oh, that's nice. <laughs> Not bad. Shuichi, you're getting better. Hey, Kaito. No slacking today, yeah? I'm counting your reps. <laughs> I'm on fire today. I could easily do 50 push-ups. Man, that's I thought tough. we were doing 100. <laughs> hey, what about you, Maki? 100 might be too hard for you. I don't so. think so. 91, 92, 93, 94. What? That fast? Right. <laughs> Satisfied? 100. I'm done. Maki stood and busted the dirt from her hands, totally composed. No. You're done already? What? You're not even out of breath. I guess you trained before, huh? Well, you think so? <laughs> Aren't you breathing a little too hard? It's not like we really pushed ourselves. Well, before coming here, I did some warm-ups. I already did like a hundred push-ups, so... <laughs> Kaito, that was the best line you could come up with. Hey. Anyway, I'm done and you can't and you can't stay and you can't say I didn't train with you. I'm going back to my room. Got it. Okay, we're done training tomorrow. We're we're doing training tomorrow too. You better be there. Aw. <laughs> it's kinda nice. Maki ignored Kaito and left without a word. Jeez. Why is she gonna be so difficult? Um, Why did you do all this? To help her. Hmm? If someone's weak, you help them out. Teamwork's important for astronauts, you know. If someone's weak and suffering, there's no way you can just leave them. Yeah, that makes uh, sense. Um, weak and suffering? Aki? That's right. Well, in that sense, you're... Nah. No, your case is a little different. Huh? What do you mean? Shut up! Nothing! Anyway, let's keep going. You're still in the middle of your push-ups, right? <laughs> so are you. Huh? Weren't you listening? I already did 500 push-ups before I got here. No. Nice try, Kaito. <laughs> Alright. Kaito ended up saying he didn't remember how many push-ups he did. We agreed to just stare over, and we were exhausted by the time we reached 100. Okay, yeah, I imagine so. It is tough. Kaito bringing Maki. He really is crazy. But maybe it's because he's crazy that Maki came in the first place. Yeah, probably. <laughs> you really are something else, Kaito. My eyelids closed as I continued talking to myself, and eventually, I drifted to sleep. And so, a new day of what? What? Curious. Curious what we mana cubs do when you're not around? I'll tell you. We listen to foreign music and laugh at every funny sounding words. When we hear words that sound perverted, we get really excited. We also wear pajamas. Oh, it's the Matrix, I guess. <laughs> we also wear pajamas all day and lounge in an air conditioned room. And we get and we all go out together. They usually make me steal. See? We're all such good friends. We're always together. Except when they all run away when I get caught stealing. <laughs> okay. That's that's interesting. Like the the switch of power or whatever. And so a new day begins, okay. But yeah, I think this is good, but we're gonna leave this episode. Let's just see, hear what they say. It is now 8 a.m. Okay. This is 
is an official announcement. He's assembling his gym. Refusal to get along? <laughs> huh. That's right. Friends is the only <laughs> the only show he watches. I will use the exercise to peel off your faces off like mandarin oranges. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> she puked again. It's blue this time. They say anyone who sees Monofan is blue puke will have good luck. Okay. Uh, so let's go to the gym, I guess. Should we go to the gym before? Assembling the gym, huh? I get a bad feeling about this. Yeah, you know what? Let's do that. And then we'll end the episode. I hope it's, it doesn't take that long. Yeah, because sometimes I say like, Oh, let's do just one more thing. And it ends up being like 20 more minutes. That's okay, I guess. Still got some time. I just don't, don't really like having super long episodes. But I think you guys like them. Because a lot of you... Uh, most of my long videos have the most views. For some reason, I don't know why. <laughs> Alright, what do you have for us, Monocups? Oh, are they gonna give the announcement of the Switch of Power or whatever? <laughs> it was the same way when we went to the library after Rantaro's class trial. All clean. Oh, right, because yeah. Like, nothing ever happened. I was up all night fixing that computer. Oh, oh you took you took a look at the computer in the fourth floor? What do you think? Oh. Yeah, I only just started working on it, so I don't know the full specs, but... That thing is pretty good. I mean, it's so intense. It, would, it just won't let me sleep. Are you jealous? Please stop. Uh, of course, no. I will never be jealous of a computer. What? A robot jealous of a computer? It seems just plain possible. Oh? Hey, guys. Am I sleepwalking or something? What's she doing here? Oh. Oh, I see. I'm hallucinating. After what Maki said before, there's no way she'd be here. Come on, man. Go on, say something so stupid. You'll never get to know her better if you never talk to her. But... Maybe everyone will prefer that. Maybe everyone will prefer that this dangerous killer stays far away from us. <laughs> of course, I wouldn't prefer that at all. That's enough! You better cut it no, out. No. He's right. Murder and death had no place in a peaceful academy life. Hmm. It's just like Angie said. Yeah. It's just like Angie said. Huh? Wait, so Sumugi is now in, in her cult? Everyone. It's serious! How? The colossal insect is on the other side of the wall, isn't it? No. The colossal insect. Okay. Gonta went to the courtyard before coming here and... <laughs> what? Thanks for bearing with us! Oh, hi. <laughs> Come on, what is this? Why'd you call us out all of a sudden? Eh? We're the ones who call them out. Did you forget that too? For now. Let's worry about Monotaro later and present the motive now. I knew it. So this so it is a motive after all. Yeah, I was expecting that. It doesn't matter what the motive is. We will not do the killing game anymore. That's right. We aren't afraid of anything anymore. Indeed. Because we have a Tua. What? Exactly Actually, what? I just spat everywhere. But it's no ordinary motive. This motive will inspire fear like never before. Fear like never before, huh? Um, if you face a fear like never before, you have no choice but to unite. Now, for the motive that will cast you down into the depths of terror. Huh? Okay. The motive is a transfer student. What? Yep, a new student is transferring. And not just any transfer student. You get to resurrect one of the four people who've died so far. Excuse me? And welcome them back to the academy as a transfer student. Well? You get to resurrect one of the... What? This is like total drama. What? This is, this is literally total drama. I mean, it's it's called total drama. Yeah, like the seasons are called like something island, uh, world tour or something, and then revenge of the island. I don't know why I'm telling you about this. It's a good show, but I don't know why I was talking about it. Are you serious? We can resurrect someone. So. The instructions for the resurrection ritual are written in the Necronomicon. 
By performing the ritual as written, you can resurrect one deceased victim. That's right. But only one of the four who have died so far can become the transfer student. Whoever you choose, that person will be considered part of the killing game semester. Ah. So, technically, you can kill them again as soon as they're resurrected. You know, if you wanted to use it like that. This motive is supposed to bring them closer together. Sorry. Oh, sorry, all habits and such. Uh, Monodam, let's forgive Monotaro. Forgiving is what friends do, you know. That's wonderful. Mono funny. You're nice. But there's more to friendship than being nice. Friends also punish each other when they do something wrong. That's why I'll have you punish Monotaro. Me? Oh, Mono funny? Wait, what? Not Mono funny. I'm always mocking her when she's not looking. I don't want to be punished by her. I'll do it! Well, uh, huh? So <laughs> what is happening? We were all completely dumbfounded, yeah. I feel like this academy has prepared me for absurd situations. But what I just heard was the most absurd thing so far. Incomprehensible. So transfer student? Resurrecting the dead? Don't, Don't say such a stupid thing. There's no way resurrecting the dead is possible. It, it just can't happen. Who the hell will believe the l that load of unscientific bullcrap? Listen. Disbelief due to a lack of scientific merit is simply the hubris of a scientific society. We live in a society. <laughs> Koreko will be the kind of person to say things like we live in a society. This ritual, or rather, the resurrection ceremony, stems from funeral ceremonies the world over. See, the, they are they are familiar. Yes, the act of the act of sending the dead to the next world is a sort of ritual. Through rumors and legends, that ritual is twisted into a way to return the dead to this world. A ritual. A ritual. Oh, are you thinking of the so? funeral? Since you keep rambling about it, I'm guessing you really believe all that stuff, huh, Kiel? What are you saying? There is no way that, that can be resurrected. Huh? What? Do you understand? Without a doubt, the soul the souls of the dead exist, but they cannot be brought back to life. Dead flesh cannot be restored, just as broken glass cannot be mended. Mm. So you believe in souls, but you don't believe those souls can be resurrected? Uh... That seems confusing, but I know if we ask this conversation we'll just go on forever. Okay. If not even Kyo believes it, then there's no such thing as resurrecting the dead. Right. And if this idealistic degenerate can't believe it, no reasonable Carol will believe it either. You think? You think so? I don't think it's strange for the dead to come back to life. <laughs> That's cuckoo. Anyway. Too bad. No one's interested in your bullcrap cult. No. Wait. Let's hear what Angie has to say. Right. Yes, Angie is free to speak. Yay! Can I say it? Yay! Okay, I am gonna say it. Cause that's what uh, two other sires. I can't follow this conversation at all. <laughs> Same, dude. Same. <sighs> Should we talk with Angie? Uh, um. So you believe you can revive the dead, Angie? Uh... I don't think the resurrection ritual can bring the dead back to life. It's probably more like. Returning the dead to us. What are you talking about? Yeah, exactly. Because. You know how the bodies of all the victims have been cleaned up? So clean, it's like there was a, never a dead body to begin with. The so maybe is. they were never dead to begin with. They weren't dead? No. That's not possible. We inspected all of the bodies ourselves. But, but. It might have been a pretty accurate imitation. No. An imitation? Let's see. Monokuma and the exiles are evidence of ridiculous scientific advancements, so it may be possible for them to recreate extremely convincing imitations. Yeah, kinda like in Until Dawn, when Josh faked his own death. Like he got a carcass and uh, faked like the saw going through his, uh, his abdomen. Interesting. Yeah. If that's what Angie says, then I'm starting to plainly agree. Mm. I've always supported Angie. Yeah. 
Thank you, everyone. Wait! No, wait just a minute. I saw them with my own... Degenerate male! Don't raise your voice to Angie, you rude degenerate. Why? You don't want them to be alive, Shuishi. You don't want the dead to be alive. It's true, but... I, I do want that. I wish they were still alive. Even now I think that. But no matter how much we want but... that... Oh, wait! If everyone alive, that means they're somewhere in school, right? So... Maybe one of them write message in courtyard. The message in the courtyard? There was a message in a rock in the courtyard. Yeah, that's true. Uh, um, no. Yeah, but it's sort of different now. On way here, Gonta see writing in courtyard. Oh, there was something else. Hey! The war. Uh, oh, and it had more writing this time. Huh? More writing. Um. Gonta no could understand what writing mean, but maybe, right. maybe it message from dead. Maybe everyone leave message for us to, that say, "Hey, we alive." No, that can't be it, can it? Huh? A message from everyone who died. Mm. Cause no one here write it, did they? So someone else must have write it, right? Aren't you saying a dead person hiding in the school wrote that message? Are you saying? In other words, it's a message from the dead? No. A message from the dead? What the actual... How divine! Either way, there is nothing more divine than being reunited with a friend. As she spoke, Angie picked the Necronomicon of the floor. Say. Whatever are you planning to do with that? Are you planning... Are you actually planning to perform the ritual? You do know it's a motive, yes? No. But per perhaps it's a motive that's dangerous to ignore rather than dangerous to use. Listen closely. For example, maybe the people who died are actually alive, and if we don't perform the ritual, maybe they will be killed for certain this time. Uh oh. It will be a problem if we allow four potential survivors to die. Thank you. You're so smart for telling us, Gonta. You're a savior to those four people. Huh? Huh? And you approach Gonta with her usual white smile and... ah, <laughs> Okay, that's actually really cute. <laughs> you work so hard, Gonta. You're always trying to keep everyone safe. Is that how she does like the whole Atua uh, thing? Even when you go berserk, you're still considerate of everyone else, aren't you? I know this because Atua is always watching you. Always watching Gonta? Don't worry. You're not alone, Gonta. Atua is like a gentle grandmother, watching over you and keeping you safe. I really like Angie's voice. Grandmas are nice. <laughs> really? That's what you took away from that? Huh? Gentle grandmother? I thought you said Atua was a handsome man. Yeah. Angie's Atua changes his appearance depending on who's looking. Whoa. Well, that's not suspiciously convenient at all. Oh. Oh yeah, why don't you join our student council, Gonta? You're right. Yeah, it'd be rather really reassuring if you were part of the student council, Gonta. Mm. You will use your power to, the, for the peace of this academy. <laughs> See how much uh, everyone needs you, Gonta. You should definitely join. You need Gonta? Got it. Okay, Gonta join student council too. Wait. Before all of that, what exactly is the student council? Is that what you've been acting yes. weird? Last night, I just summoned us to discuss how we can eradicate the killing game. You're right. Me, Kibo, Tenko, and Tsumugi. Yes! And we arrived to a conclusion. Okay. This is the Ultimate Academy Student Council, with Angie Yonaga as our president. That logo looks interestingly Ultimate familiar. Academy Student Council? We've all banded together under the leadership of President Angie. Okay. Our platform is the wholesale eradication of the killing game. Yeah. Our student council promises a killing game free ultimate academy. Okay. Huh? A student council and Angie's the president? Yes. yes, there can be no harmony between us if we keep sacrificing, saying different things. <laughs> Why did I see sacrificing? What is happening to me? Oh, shut up! What? Yeah, yeah. Well, it is called the student council, but all decision making is done by Atua. <laughs> well, Susan, you can speak with Atua. She's, n 
She's the only one worthy of leading the council. That's right. <laughs> Jesus, what is happening to me? Yeah. I'm going to follow Angie too. Yeah. Thanks, everyone. A toy is happy too. Oh, man. They've been totally brainwashed. <laughs> Angie has spread her influence before we'd even realize. However. But it makes sense if you think about it. This place has all the conditions for a cult to form. The fear of the, of a death can that cannot be avoided. Cults are born from a desire to escape that. So she's using this situation to take over the school and make us depend on a twerk? Please wait! Using is rude way to describe it. The president wants peace for this school, and we all agree with her noble wisdom. Right. Yeah, Gonta not let everyone talk anyone talk about battle while student council. You literally just joined them, you brainwashed idiot! But... I'm surprised Tenko decided to join the student huh? council. That's correct. Because you and I and you were fighting over Himiko, were you not? Mm. Who cares about that? I finally realized how great Atua is. So? That's right, that's right. Now, what were we talking about again? Yup, yup. Oh, that's resurrection ritual, right? Just leave this to the student council. It's less burdensome if Atua makes the decision. Wait. Oh, about who to revive? Mm. That's a relief. It is Atua's decision. Then it's definitely the right yeah. one. Then there's no way Atua could be wrong. Yep, yep. Atua is always right. Yeah. Are you guys serious? The resurrection ritual is literally a trap. It's clearly a trap. <laughs> It'll be fine. As long as everyone puts aside their desire to leave. I doubt that listen to anything we'd have to say. It's true that they're probably not going to listen. But you could at least help too, Kaito. What's wrong with him? He's been quiet this whole time. Yeah, that's interesting. In the end, we couldn't stop the student council. We left it at death and went our separate ways. Okay. So yeah, we're definitely leaving the episode here, guys. It's been way too long. Transfer students. Reviving the dead to a student council. So many heavy questions this morning. No. I shouldn't just sit here and complain. There has to be something I can do. I have to find something. Alright guys, we're leaving the episode right here. Thank you so much for watching. Sorry that I'm a bit tired uh, today. Uh, I don't know, I just had a pretty heavy day uh, this uh, Tuesday, which is where I'm, when I'm recording this. Uh, but I'm really thankful for your support, guys, and I hope you enjoyed this episode. I know it wasn't super eventful, but I did enjoy the, the free time that we got, so... Yeah, I don't know. Like I said, I hope you enjoyed, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Thank you even more for your support, uh, really. And yeah, if you're interested, we're live streaming every Saturday. Let me know what you would like to see uh, in terms of live streaming. I'm thinking of doing either Mega Man 11 that just came out recently. Or maybe it will be the time to start playing The Walking Dead. Though I would prefer to play it uh, as a recorded playthrough, so maybe after this. But I'm I'm not super sure about that. So anyway, that'll be it for now. I'm Lucianel, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.